New this morning, there was a lot new this morning, but listen to this. A scathing report in the Wall Street Journal says that President Trump's former personal lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, hired a firm to rig online polls to help then-candidate. CNN Now exclusively has this statement confirming that story from Michael Cohen himself. It says the following, what I did was at the direction of and for the sole benefit of Donald J. Trump. I truly regret my blind loyalty to a man who doesn't deserve it, implicating the president right. in this payment. And again, that coming uh, from Michael Cohen exclusively to CNN this morning. So, so what is this Wall Street Journal story about? Well, Cohen allegedly gave the owner of a pretty small tech company thousands of dollars in cash in a, in a Walmart bag when he came to Trump Tower as payment for writing online scripts to help Trump score better in polls, rigging online polls to the benefit of the president. With us now is MJ Lee, and national political correspondent. Anything here illegal? Yeah, just to add to the growing list of yeah. bizarre Michael Cohen uh, headlines, let me just walk you through the Wall Street Journal story. Uh, it is reporting that in 2015, a man named John Gouger, uh, he runs a tech company, as you said, Poppy, uh, went to Trump Tower to collect $50,000 for work that he did for Michael Cohen to try to rig online polls for uh, then-candidate Donald Trump, who was running for president, so that he could have better poll numbers. Now, uh, we don't know if that effort was successful, but this was the work that he says he performed uh, for Michael Cohen on uh, Donald Trump's behalf. Now, the story says that Michael Cohen handed over to John Gouger, this guy, uh, a Walmart bag full of around $12,000 in cash. Now, Cohen to the Wall Street Journal denies that piece of the reporting, uh, says that all monies paid to Mr. Gouger were by check. So the cash bag uh, part of this, Michael Cohen is denying. Uh, now, Gouger goes on to claim in the Wall Street Journal uh, that he did not get paid in full, that what was promised to him was the $50,000. Uh, but what the journal is also reporting, and this is significant, is that in 2017, uh, even though Michael Cohen did not pay this full amount to this guy who was uh, trying to rig the online polls for Donald Trump, uh, that Cohen still asked Donald Trump for the full payment of $50,000 and that he was paid this money. Uh, so again, just to uh, emphasize the headline from this story is that Michael Cohen paid this guy uh, around twelve to $13,000, according to this person. And then two years later, uh, he asked Donald Trump for more money than what he uh, allegedly paid out of his pocket. And Poppy, according to that statement that you just read from Michael Cohen that we just got, uh, all of this comes back to loyalty. Michael Cohen's defense now for a while has been that all of these things that he did that were, uh, frankly, really sketchy. Uh, he did out of blind loyalty to Donald Trump. Uh, this is obviously going to be a huge, huge narrative that we see when Michael Cohen testifies in Congress next month. Yeah. Wow. So pretty damning stuff right there from CNN. This could be what takes down Trump if he's found to have done this illegally and whatnot. Welcome to Andrew Says, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. So Michael Cohen is saying this. What I did was at the direction of and for the sole benefit of Donald J. Trump. You know it's serious when they say Donald J, right? I truly regret my blind loyalty to a man who doesn't deserve it. So big stuff here. Uh, he rigged the polls to get results, assumedly, that favored him. Um, it's pretty outrageous that you would do that, and a person who says they're so squeaky clean, they haven't done anything wrong, they're directing people, you know, to, to rig the polls, fool the public into thinking they're more popular, so they'll, they'll get more votes. So I'm pretty, I don't know if the word's disgusted, annoyed, outraged, or just find it hilarious, and the reason is, is because the headlines didn't talk about the actual polls at all, they just relied on people not looking into it at all. You'll notice in that CNN piece I just showed you, that they didn't say what the polls were, or when they were from. But what we're used to seeing is polls like this. Uh, 78 to 21 for Hillary. You had a 98 to 1 also. And then you've got the uh, the debate poll, which of course heavily in favor of Hillary. We didn't, uh, I don't think anybody agreed with that one, that Hillary was heavily in favor of winning in those debates. So which polls are they actually talking about here? I looked into this for you. So Cohen reportedly asked a group called Red Finch Solutions Asked for his help in January 2014 CNBC poll to, to name the country's top business leaders. So they reportedly wrote a script to repeatedly vote for Trump, but was still unable to get him in the top 100 candidates. So what that means is all they did is 
he they paid he paid some guy uh, to get a bot to vote on a CNBC poll. It's just a random internet poll from 2014 for business leaders. Nothing to do with anything of merit for the election, but they conveniently leave that part out. The next one, Cohen asked the same company for help in a Drudge Report poll of potential Republican candidates. He managed to get fifth place in that poll, 24,000 votes. So they do this, uh, this bot for this poll, and they only get him in fifth place. And the last one, Cohen asked the same guy, Gogger, uh, to create a group, an online group called At Women for Cohen, a Twitter account, this was in May 2016, which heralded Cohen as a sex symbol and promoted his media appearances during the campaign. So what you got here is they've used bots to vote over and over again in online polls, and the company didn't even do it well. And then what you heard from the CNN portion, which is true, they just left out the, mo the most important stuff, if you ask me, that Michael Cohen said he was going to pay this guy a certain amount. He paid him, what, like half, and he dropped it off to him in, a, in cash in a Walmart bag, but still billed Donald Trump for $50,000 anyway. So he lies to Donald Trump. He's lying everywhere. You know, he's, he's supposed to be going to jail for lying to the FBI. So then he starts his own uh, online campaign around the same time to make himself look like a sex symbol. So look at the actual group here. Women for Cohen, at Women for Cohen. Women who love and support Michael Cohen. Strong, pit bull, sex symbol, no nonsense, business oriented, and ready to make a difference. So if you've never worked in marketing, these sort of things happen all the time. Public relations. People uh, want to get bots to upvote these polls, and, and they're not real polls. They're not for elections. They're not done by uh, actual pollsters or polling outlets. These are just random online polls we're talking about here. A poll for the top 100 businessmen. A poll for who you think would be a good presidential candidate for the Republicans, and they didn't even work properly. So if you think that this is just like some stupid, crooked thing that Donald Trump did, and that it, it's completely... Uh, unheard of, which they try to make it sound like. It's not true. It happens all the time. People try to do it for uh, views, likes, followers, all that stuff, which is why uh, so many social media companies crack down on this all the time. Now, on top of that, you had Trump's letter to Pelosi denying her um, government planes to go overseas. This comes because Pelosi had claimed there was a security concern to stop Trump's uh, speech which then later, of course, turned out that she didn't actually have any concerns. The Secret Service said she never contacted him, so there's that lie. And then, so he said that um, she can't use any government planes to go over to Afghanistan and everything. And you had Jake Tapper on CNN, CNN's had a bad week, saying that what this letter did is it exposed the, the, to the Taliban that Speaker of, or that Nancy Pelosi was coming, as if the Taliban's gonna be able to attack or even know wherever she's going. What are they going to do? Ramp up attacks and then just get slaughtered by the American military? This isn't a ch like China here. There's not really a danger here. This isn't Geraldo giving away or Geraldo giving away the troop location in Iraq. So there was that. And then all day we had this coverage. Buzzfeed sources say Trump was directed. Trump directed Michael Cohen to lie to Congress about proposed Moscow project. And what the Moscow project is, is. Um, a project to build a building that never obviously ended up getting built and they're saying that Donald Trump told Michael Cohen to lie to Congress and so we're talking about that all day CNN of course gets the story first if you remember CNN and BuzzFeed worked together with the phony dossier the one about uh, Trump peeing on prostitutes in Russia uh, that's a whole nother thing so that's why if you're wondering BuzzFeed and CNN work closely together they're very close in the like making stuff up place and then hilariously what happened, what nobody expected to happen, was the Mueller investigation team themselves come out and deny this fact. And this is from the Washington Post. In a rare move, Mueller's office denies Buzzfeed, BuzzFeed report that Trump told Cohen to lie about the Moscow project. So are we going for a record here? And I hate, like, sounding like a, a person who's just like, oh, the Democrats this and CNN that. But when you're doing all this stuff over and over again that's completely misleading on purpose and pretty much just bold lies on purpose, BuzzFeed, by the way, is standing by their story, which of course makes you think, is the Trump administration, did they put this out on purpose to try to find out who the leaker is? Because obviously what you do in that situation is you put out certain sets of information to different people that are kind of unique in a certain way, so that way if the information gets out, you can tell exactly who did it. 
So if that was a fake leak, then they probably know exactly who did it. And people are always asking me about the news because they know at this point it's hard to hide what I'm doing for a living. Um, it's hard to explain to people why people would do this. And it's hard for people to believe that things can be such obvious uh, misrepresentations and lies. Like look at this, one of the top tweets I found on this headline. It's it, This was one of the top tweets uh, for them saying that Trump rigged the polls. This explains why Trump always bragged about his polling numbers and continues to do so. He's proud of what he paid for. The entire lot of them are treasonous. From the beginning, con continues to go this very day. Hashtag indict and convict. First of all, Kimmy B, um, you can't put an ampersand <laughs> in a hashtag. It's not going to work. So fail on Twitter 101. So like I said in here, the first poll was business leaders in America, blah, blah, the Drudge polls. Please look actually into things before freaking out. People aren't doing that. They just see this and they freak out. The polls had nothing to do with the presidential election. He wasn't going on stage saying, look at my poll numbers from 2014 CNBC poll of top 100 business leaders in America because I didn't even make it. Or look at this other poll for top five candidates for Republicans. I came in fifth. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And it is hard to, to explain to people that things are this easily proven false because you gotta be like why are these people putting it out there if it's so obviously false and the fact that there is some sort of sinister aspect to it when you are purposely uh, putting this stuff out there so what will this uh, do I think maybe that they'll come out and say who the leaker was or is it better to keep it clo your cards close to your chest in that in that uh, feeling and just keep that person, you know, in the loop and hooked on and then purposely, I don't know, feed them more in for bad formation. Basically, keep an eye on the shark that's in your waters. And I, again, I don't like being the guy who's just like, the mainstream media is the fakest move or fakest news ever and the Democrats. But like, how can you avoid? This is information. This is something I see. And I was like, people need to know about this. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description to read for yourself. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once.